This video is about solving and managing puppy mouthing and biting, as well as teaching the puppy to be calm, confident, and relaxed when handled, because most puppies, when you reach for them and pet them excitedly, or even just pet them calmly, it can make the puppy aroused and also want to mouth at your hands or your clothes. Now, puppies are very similar to human toddlers in that they're exploring the world using their mouth. Now, most toddlers use their hands, but they also will put things into their mouths. And when a puppy sees things, they're naturally going to want to try putting that thing into their mouth. So if you reach for your puppy and you're touching your puppy, the puppy wants to naturally do the same back to you, but they're going to be using their mouth. So we need to train the puppies that when we reach and touch them, it's not a game of mouthing. It's simply that we're petting the dog in order to calm them down or just interact with them in a calm manner. If your puppy started to bite at your hands like this, I suggest getting your puppy's attention, pop, 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 and then say, oh my goodness, look, what is that? and point out a toy that already exists in the environment. So don't get a toy out of a new place, like on top of a, a counter and give your puppy a toy, because they could quickly learn they can get your attention by biting you to get access to toys they don't have. But I suggest having some cool toys around that you interact with often that the puppy likes, and then get your puppy to play with those toys and interact with those toys when he's feeling like checking things out in the environment with his mouth or chewing on things. When you first bring your puppy home, you want to really create a reinforcement history for playing with his toys right from the start. Don't just leave the toys out and hope he'll choose those over your socks and shoes or better yet, pick up your socks and shoes so your puppy is more likely to spend the day playing with his toys that you want him to play with rather than your stuff or your clothes, your hair, and your hands. So as you can see, this pup really enjoys playing with his toys. Managing and preventing mouthing and biting. Pet and handle your puppy calmly and gently. Instead of petting your puppy excitedly, play with a toy with your puppy. Write a list of the times your puppy bites and avoid putting your puppy in those situations unless you plan to train your puppy. If your puppy becomes overexcited and mouthy, you can put him in his pen where he can play with his toys. We can teach puppies what to do when being petted, handled, and groomed by setting up short training sessions. You can use a portion of your puppy's breakfast and dinner to work on handling exercises, and I suggest working on them daily when you first get your puppy. Step 1. Touch and feed a treat at the same time. The reason that you want to feed and touch at the same time is that if you have a mouthy puppy and you just reach for your puppy, your puppy might either lick or bite at your hand as you're reaching for your puppy, or if you have a timid puppy, you reach for your puppy and your puppy might back away, and that's not the first thing you want your puppy to do when you reach for them in a training session. So I suggest starting out every training session by feeding and touching at the same time. So if you're going to be touching your puppy's feet, you touch and feed at the same time, practice touching the top of the head, and you're doing this all calmly so the puppy isn't finding it overwhelming at first. So now I'm touching on the back of his shoulders like this and feeding. And then once you've done that and your puppy is seeming pretty contented to get his treat while you touch him at the same time, you can move on to the next step, which is making the petting the predictor of food. Because at the first step, you're simply teaching him what's going to happen to him while he's not doing anything. And then the second step is teaching him that the actual petting is what predicts that the food is going to come. Step two, touch your puppy, say good or click, and then move to feed a treat. So I'm going to touch him, say good, and then give him a treat. Good. 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 Once your puppy is calm and relaxed with you placing your hand on your puppy, you can also practice good. stroking gestures. Right there. Good. Good. Step three, 
Add duration to the handling and teach the puppy to ignore the treats. The third step you might not actually get to in the first few training sessions because it requires a couple of other skills to be taught to the puppy. One, either that the puppy can look away from treats that you're holding, like that, good. Or that your puppy can offer you eye contact or at least look up at you when you make a kissy noise or an attention noise, good, like that. And I did not know that he would do all that so perfectly, you're so clever. Okay, so after doing step two where you reach mark, good, and then feed, you can start to wait until your puppy offers you eye contact or doesn't look at the treats because you don't want your puppy to only think that handling is okay if he's looking at food because when the food becomes out of the picture, then suddenly you might get the mouthing and biting or overexcitement with handling again. Good. So you reach, touch your puppy calmly, and wait for your puppy to stop looking at the food or look up at your eyes. And if that doesn't happen within two to three seconds, you can make your attention noise or say your puppy's name if that's his cue to look at you. Good. Now, when I make my attention noise and my puppy doesn't look, I make a little blowing noise, like a breathing noise, like that. Good. And then I mark it and then go to feed a treat. You want to make sure when you mark your puppy for calm behaviors like handling that you don't race to get that treat into the picture because what you can create is a puppy that's getting excited about the treat coming. So you want to mark, pause, and then feed the treat. Step four, keep changing the picture. Practice these handling exercises while the puppy is sitting, standing, laying down, as well as while you're standing above the puppy or to the side of the puppy. It's really important that during this training, you handle your puppy calmly. However, you should do some training sessions where you simulate what other people might do to your puppy before you can tell the person that that's not an appropriate way to pet a puppy. Good. If your puppy opens his mouth, gets excited, leans away or backs away, go back to step one where you touch and feed at the same time. If your puppy is still too excited, then stop training and wait until another time to train when he is calm. Here you can see my puppy ducks when I try to touch him on the head, so I go back to step one of touching and feeding at the same time. If you have a puppy that leans away or backs away from you when you try to touch him, you can play this game as the first step where you move away from your puppy, and to reach the treat, the puppy's face rubs against your hand to get the treat in your hand. So you can hold your hand under his chin as he reaches for the treat, or have your hand above his head. Then you can turn it into a petting gesture and start to pet him before you give him the treat.